Right, we'll start with the Mr. T49 size 12 for this uh, hatching midge pattern. I'll just put some tying thread on. And I really need to go back there with that before I remove that. And just go a little bit further down just to cover the end. And then we want a strip quill. So we'll look, I want that's the way I want it with the black strip at the bottom of the quill when I tie it in, otherwise you'll lose the effect of the segmented body and we don't want to do that, that's why we're using it. So just attach that and tie that in and we go back up again with the tying thread. This time we can go all the way to the hook eye just to get the thread out of the way. And I need some hackle pliers. Always the best way to do it, I think. Let's get our first turn in. There we go. My vice. Make sure that you unwind your hackle pliers with each turn, otherwise it will twist. And you can hold it down with your finger like I'm doing after each turn, just in case the hackle plier slips off, you can attach it again and carry on. And these turns should be nice and even, tight into each other all the way up. So. Good. Now holding that there, don't try and wind your tying thread back, unwind, reverse into it, like so, and then you get much closer than winding back, and then we can tie that up, remove the hackle plier, and tie that down. Good, that's the quill body done. And then we'll go back to about midway the thorax and then I need to open the tying thread. Okay, how are we doing here? I need to spin it a little just to get it flat, there we go. And then we'll just open that. Like so. I've loaded a clip, a magic clip with CDC. Now you see that I've left one end thick and one end thin. The thick end, or the broad end, I want to finish with at the back, at the front of the hook, and the thin end at the top. So the thin end has to go in first. There you go. I'll just give that a spin. Excellent. I've used two CDC hackles here, by the way, not just one. I want this thorax. This is going to keep the whole fly actually right in the surface. It really does work a treat. So we go a little back now with a tying thread, just onto the quilt, and then with each turn, we just pull the fibres back. tight into each other on each turn.
pull all those back. Give it a whip finish. Of course you can varnish or uh, the body or put a drop of, give it a coat with UV resin but I don't seem to bother with it. I don't mind a fly being destroyed if I catch a fish on it. So with a little bit of velcro now, just brush out the CDC fibres. We want most of these going upwards like this. And you can kind of coax them. So there we go. Then what we need is some curved scissors and we just take off the CDC hackle on the underside of the thorax. Pull that down. Oh, that's looking good. A few more there I could take. Nice. Then we put our fingers Pull the hackle up like this, pull our fingers up and then we just follow the contour round the back. It doesn't really need anything else, I mean that's it. And that will float all day long and just like kind of hang in the surface like it should. I mean, if you want it to hang deeper, you can take a few more of these off at the side. And it will sit a little bit more in the surface. Just like that. And still being a very delicate small pattern, you can see it a mile off very good pattern. It's annoying when you get that one fibre does your head in. There we go. There we are. CDC quill hatching midge.